Hi guys, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a brand new series. This is Back to Basics. I'm stripping it all back, I'm taking a look at the things that I think every guy should know, really the essentials in hair and grooming. And this first one is all about hair clay. Straight up guys, if you're new to my channel and you've not yet pressed subscribe, then hit that subscribe button right now. It's going to be just under the video. So in this one, I'm going to talk about what hair clays actually are, which one you should be picking, the hairstyles that you can do with them, and then guys, five very simple, I mean really simple steps to using hair clay. Now hair clays generally have a medium hold and a matte finish, and the most commonly found one is bentonite. Now this is a naturally forming type of clay which has healing properties so it can help to repair the scalp, repair the hair follicle, and also, my favourite property of it, it can make the hair look plumper and fuller. Over the past few years I've seen loads of new hair clays being released onto the market and I would say it's actually a bit overwhelming. But when you're picking one I would say you really want something solid in state so it shouldn't be creamy or like a putty and you also want something with a matte finish. Now some of my favourite ones are Hans Fuqua's Claymation, British Barber Association's Texturizing Clay, Damon Barber's Clay Pomade and then the one I'm going to use in this video which is Lockhart's Matte Clay. Now guys I have done a full article on manforhimself.com, I've linked it in the bio. It's got all these different steps and it's also got my favourite hair clays. Now hair clays are perfect for sort of loose, messy, relaxed hairstyles like this one that I'm going to show you in a minute. But if you want something that's a lot more formal and it's glossy in its finish, then I would say to use a wax. But here you go guys, these are my five steps to using hair clay. Step one is to prep the hair and make sure that it's ready for styling. Now there are a few parts to this. The first is that you should have clean hair, you should not have any product build up in it. I've got clean and towel dried hair. The second part is optional but I'd always say to boost the hair. Now this is where you'd start to use your pre-styler or your thickening tonic to really get it ready for the styles that you're going to do. And guys, the third part is to direct the hair. And maybe you've got hair that's perfect and does what it's told, but if you want to really ensure that you're going to get the style that you want, grab a hairdryer and really start to work the styling with your hands. Step two is so simple yet so important and this is amount. Now really you should only be using about a pea sized amount of that clay. If you need more later then you can layer it up until you've got the amount that you need. Step three is to warm the product up. Get it right into your hands and add heat just to ensure that the product can be easily applied to the hair and doesn't have any lumps or bumps. Step four is styling and this is where you can start to get creative. Now because I'm going to push my hair right back, I'm first going to coat what will be the underside so I'm just brushing at the surface of the hair. Then guys I'm going to get my hands and push them right through the hair, root to tip, to start to build that style in. I'm going to keep doing this working volume and the style into the hair until I'm happy. And it's at this point that you might want to grab a comb if you want to neaten it up or you can go for something a little bit more loose and messy. And the final step, step five, is finishing or fixing. This is where I would grab just a tiny little bit, like the tiniest amount of product again, get it into my hand and just brush at the surface, really just to pick up any flyaways. Now you might want to use a hairspray just to fix it all into place, but I think the beauty of a clay is to get this really loose and messy hairstyle and also you can fix it throughout the day. And that's it guys, my five steps to using hair clay. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that I do have that blog article on manfromself.com. It's got all the bits about this and also some of my suggestions for hair clays. Again guys, if you're new to my channel and you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do press subscribe now. It's going to be up there. Also that blog article link there. And I've got more video suggestions down here. But guys, I'm going to see you in my next new one, which will be Sunday. Bye bye.